Hello! This video will cover an example problem for the CAD App Trust application. The problem is provided from Mechanics of Material by Beer. We have a truss system with various cross-sectional areas. Young's modulus, a load, a pen, a roller, and free nodes. We have a value of 16.27 millimeters for displacement at node E to verify our answer. Below is a screen grab of the truss designed in Truss App. To begin, we will note that this problem is in SI units. The cross-sectional areas are provided in millimeters and the whole system is about 3 meters wide. Keeping this in mind, we will navigate to the truss application. Our axes are currently from negative 10 to 10. We'll resize them to about negative 1 to 4 in both X and Y. This looks a little better. Next, we'll edit the unit. Click Options. We'll change the labeling format to uppercase. The measurement system, length unit, and force unit will remain the same. But we will change the A area unit to millimeters squared. Click Accept. Now we are ready to input the truss. To begin, we roughly place the nodes of the system. These are editable later. To place a node, click with the left mouse button. To place a member, right click on a placed node. Right click on the next node. Continue until all members and nodes are in place. Some of these nodes are not completely correct. To change this, we will navigate to the nodal properties table. Click the values you would like to edit. Alternatively, we can left-click the node while under Structure Mode to prescribe a new X and a new Y value. Continue until all nodes are located where they should be. Next, we will give Boundary Conditions. Click Boundary Condition under Edit Mode. Click node A and give it a pen. Click accept. Click node B and prescribe a roller at 90 degrees. These are all of the boundary conditions for our system. Next, we will input the load. Click Load under Edit Mode. Click Node E and provide a load of negative 40,000 newtons in the Y direction. Click Accept. Members are in blue, boundary conditions are in green, and loads are in red. Next, we will update the cross-sectional areas and Young's modulus for each member. This will be done in the Member Properties table.
Continue until each member is ready. Be sure to be careful about units. Next, we will save our work. Click Export. Save to the desktop a file named trustexample.schm. We are now ready to run our problem. Click Run Simulation. A new window will appear with our results. Mouse over node E to see a displacement of 16 millimeters in the negative Y direction, which agrees with the solution provided by Beer. To get a better idea of what is happening in this entire problem, Export to a dot CSV. The dot CSV has all the information on this system for post-processing. For more detailed information regarding the Trust app, please refer to the help documentation provided. I hope this video helped you understand the Trust application. Thank you.